Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a DIY project with this little container to make it a treat container. So exciting. As you can see you can open it up like that and I just thought it was the perfect container for taking treats up to the barn instead of taking a whole huge bag. Alright, let's get started on the project. First, what we're going to do is we are going to cut out this paper, measure it for the width and area of this container so that I can then design on it. Alright, now I'm going to line up the measurement and draw out a line that I can cut. Now that I have the piece cut, I'm going to measure it out and see if it covers the entire surface. Okay, you see it does not quite go all the way around, so I'm going to have to add more paper. Now I have the two pieces of paper and I'm going to tape them together. Now that the pieces are taped, I'm going to measure and see how much of it I actually need and then trim off the part that I don't. Now that I have the sizing, I can start with the designing. So I'm just going to sketch out what I think would look cool around my treat bucket. Now that I have the design, I'm going to tape it in a circle around the container and make sure it looks right. And this is the result and what I came up with, just a rough draft. Now 
Now that I have the design all done, I now need to get ready so that I can paint my bucket. Ta-da! Now, let's get started with the first step, which will be to paint the surface. I'm not really sure how well the paint will do on this specific uh, material, so it might take a few tries. All right, so today we are gonna start with this dark red. Um, it's a Tuscan red, and I think that it will be the best base color for what I'm going with. So I have several brushes, but I'm going to start out using this one and just see how well it works. Maybe it'll do great, maybe it won't, but we will see. So it actually is doing pretty good. The paint is actually pretty solid and I don't think that I will have to do much more. But while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to start on the lid with this gold paint. Um, I think it will really complement the dark red and it's a metallic color so it'll be nice and shiny. All right, so I started out with this little round brush, just dabbing it a little bit, seeing if it would coat really well. The plastic on the lid is a lot different. As you can see, it did some weird stuff and didn't really solid coat. So I'm gonna try a different brush. The paint still wasn't sticking the way I wanted, so I decided to give it some time to dry. Now to get back to my main container. So now that it's dry, I'm going to start adding the design to it. I'll use a pencil, sketch it all out, and then paint over top. So looking at my design, I kind of measure out where I'm going to put all of the different stuff, and then I will just go from there.
And as you can see, my brother decided to interrupt my design process with his goofiness. Thanks, Seth. Now that I have finished the designing, I was going to start with the painting. And first I'm going to start out with this brown, uh, it's a burnt umber. And this is going to be the base coat for Rio, where I am going to paint his figure on here. Next, I am going to be doing the black to start on the black parts of Buddy, and I will be using the color, well, black. And there he is, at least the black parts of him. Cute little boy. Now I just have to wait for it to dry so I can add the white. Now that Rio has dried, I am going to use the tan, which is what I purchased. It's actually a khaki tan. And I'm going to use this to paint his mane and tail. And now that I'm done, you can see he is starting to take shape. But then I forgot I needed to do his little hoofs as well. There. That's better. Now it's time to do the white for Buddy.
And there we are, the little tail and the legs and the belly and the face. They're both starting to take shape and I am in love. The next color I'm gonna use is this apple red. And this I'm going to use specifically for the pretty little heart eyes because they will be in love with all the treats. As you can see, Leo's looks adorable. And there you go. Now you can see both of them. So in this segment, I forgot to film me painting on the lettering that says treats to identify what the bucket was. And that's my bad, but here's what it looks like. I did it in the pretty gold color to complement the lid. Now you can see how much I've done. I've got Buddy and Rio on there. I've got the word treats. And I even did a little apple, or at least the beginning of an apple. So we're going to see how it goes from there. So basically my plan for this design was to have Rio and Buddy walking around in their dream world of treats falling from the sky. So I took the four basics, which is why I'm using this orange for carrots. I used the red for apples, cookies with the khaki, and then finally white, I made some sugar cube. Here is the idea for it so far, just kind of a pattern to get started. I haven't added the green to my carrot and apple yet, but that is what I shall do very soon. And there you go. Now you have an idea of what my carrots and my apples and my cookies look like and the sugar cubes. Now I'm going to take some time to finish the pattern and I'll catch back up with you guys. And voila, it is finished. I painted the second coat of gold on the lid, which finally did its job and the design turned out perfect. I am in love. Buddy is adorable. Rio is also adorable and all of the treats falling from the sky, I am just so excited that it turned out as well as it did. So here is the finished product, but to the right, you will see that this is what it looked like before I took off the sticker and painted it. Quite a big change and I'm extremely happy with the results. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, be brave, be brave. 
I'll see you next time, guys.